What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Zeb Striker, Zeb Striker, however you pronounce it, Electric Zebra team for ranked regulation F. And I know what you guys are thinking. Jeans, welcome back. Thank you guys so much. It's an honor to be back, yo. Missed five or six days uploading, and I'm super excited to be back. Daily uploads will continue from here. But today's team is looking absolutely amazing. We've got some nice off meta squad with Zeep Striker and this Dragapult set, which is pretty cool. And then on top of that, we got Pelipper and Archluda. Cannot wait to use it and grab some wins for you guys. But Zeb Striker, Zeb Striker? I don't even know how to really pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call it Zebra. The Zebra over here has Sap Zipper as its ability, meaning it can't get hit by grass moves. It actually gets a special attack boost, I believe, or an attack boost, one or the other. But another good thing about it is it can't be spored by Amoongus. We love that. It also has clear amulet as item, rock and wild charge for stab, high horsepower for coverage, it has terror blast with the ice terror type, and protect for its final move. Haven't ever used this Pokemon in ranked battle, so this is a first one for me. Should be fun one. We got Pelipper and Archluton, like we already mentioned, you guys know exactly what that combo does. And on top of that, we got Dragapult over here with Curse Body and the Roselli Berry. It's got Dragon Darts, it's got Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave, and Disable. So this Dragapult's here to outspeed, pass around with some Paralyzes and Burns, and also Disable move at the same time. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Serena over here. Great Pokemon all around, especially due to its ability, Queenly Majesty, stopping all first turn priority. On top of that, it has Choice Scarf with Petal Blizzard, Triple Axle, U-Turn, and Low Kick. Final Pokemon is a top tier Gen 9 Pokemon. It is going to be Annihilate with Defiant and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Bulk Up Protect. You guys have seen this used plenty of times in the past. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you're excited for the daily uploads to continue and for me to be back, make sure you like up today's video and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using the Electric Zebra. First match coming at you guys, and it feels so good to say that. Going up against a top tier meta squad with Raging Bolt, Amoongus, alongside with Ogre Pond. I should say Wellspring Ogre Pond, but that's pretty normal at this point. And then Incineroar, Urshfu, and Fluttermane. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Looking for a victory in our first match back. It's actually been about five, six days since I last uploaded, and that is the last time I actually played. I've just been watching competitive videos, pretty much previous tournaments such as the World Champions and like Charlotte Regional stuff. But yeah, haven't really been playing. But what do we want to do here? How do we want to play this here? We do have Zeep Striker. Zebra over here with decent speed. 184? I actually really like that. I do have Clear Amulet, which could actually help us out. We do have high horsepower to deal with Incineroar. But I believe Incineroar might be a Pokemon. They just end up leading, right? I don't think Dragapult's too bad here. I don't think Dragapult's too bad here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up leading Dragapult. Or I could lead Rain. Rain's pretty good. I'm going to go Rain. I'm going to go these two. I'm going to bring the Zebra in the back end. And then last but not least, do we want to Annihilate here? Or do we want to Choice Scarf? Bro? Annihilate pretty solid here. I don't mind the Choice Scarf. Grass Pokemon either. I do like that. So that's exactly who we're going to lead, actually. That's exactly who we're going to bring. I kind of want to bring Dragapult, but after looking at it and analyzing it a little bit more, I was just like, eh. Dragapult, not that good. We could just set the weather right off the rip here and cooking with Archaluna. I'm, I'm with it. So looking for a first win here. Feels so good to be back. But bear with me, guys. I might be a little bit rusty. We'll see. We'll see. They go Fluttermane. They go Raging Bolt here. I go Pelipper and Archaluna. So from here, they could just like Thunderclap Pelipper. I could maybe just like protect it or something like that. They could Calm Mind Boost as well. I do have Wide Guard, which is pretty solid. Um... From here, I could Terra Ground. We do I have Terra Ground? That's actually something I want to do. I'm going to go Terra Ground here. And I'm just going to go for an Electro Shot. Alongside with this Tailwind. Because after Tailwind, Pelipper should outspeed, correct? Correct, Paloops? Yeah, you should be faster than that. I don't think it was Booster Energy or anything. So I'm just going to go for an Electro Shot here. And I'm going to look to get after it. I'm cool with that. I like it. So we'll see what he wants to do. He could most likely go for the electric move into the Pelipper, which is why I'm Terrestrial as a ground. But a lot of times people might just read that and just set up like a combine boost with Raging Bolt. So I'm kind of hoping that's happening. But they're going to end up Terrestrial at first. Probably the Fluttermane, right? Yeah, looking to get off some big time damage. And that is looking scary considering Archaludon, Special Defense, eh. But it is Vesta, which we love. We love the good old Vest on him. We do love the good old Vest. Here comes the ground tower for me. I kind of wish 
that I went for a wide guard. I was going to wide guard instead because I think maybe they might calm mind Daz and Wien. But we're just going to make the simple plays here. We're not going to start over predicting our first game back, right? That'd just be too much. Here comes a Moonblast. Probably going in Arch Ludon, correct? Yeah, it's going in Arch Ludon. How much are you soaking? Ouch. Really hurts soul. Stamina is going to boost our defense, which is great. And Tailwind is going to fly here. So we are going to get off an Electro Shot here. Fingers crossed that the Raging Bolt is going after the uh, the Flutter main. Or not the Flutter main, the Pelipper, because that could be really good for us. That could be really good for us. But we do get some Speed Control, and at least I do get off an Electro Shot if this Raging Bolt decides to go after me. So not bad damage. We love it. And there's an E-Web coming out here. So E-Web is not bad. Um, it's not going to affect my Pelipper. My Pelipper still has Focus Sash. Focus Sash and Archaludon still outspeed and Flutter Main? I'm not sure. Pelipper actually does, which is good. So, to be honest, why don't I just drop a Hurricane in this slot and Draco Meteor into this slot? Yeah. Yeah, you give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. So, like I said, um, okay, you're just gonna swap. I was gonna say, uh, Pelipper should be fast on the field. We are dropping Draco Meteor, and I wonder who they're swapping into here. It's gonna be Amoogus, which we love, yo. Pelper's ripping a hurricane into that thing. Big time hurricane, bringing it down to the red. We love it. And we get the ducks. And we get the ducks. We got some welcome back RNG. Jericho Meteor's gonna fly. We can wave bye bye to this thing. Plus one special attack. Jericho Meteor. So that's some big time damage. That is some big time damage. So he could start spore me. I could make a hard read that he's gonna go into Flutter Main here, protect, and try to spore me. But at this point, we do have this Amoonga so low, it's real risky for them to actually do that. But they're gonna end up going into that thing. Um, and I might as well just rip a Hurricane. You're probably just gonna Rage Powder, right? I'm just gonna go for Electro Shot just to boost my special attack back to normal. He's up detecting, which is kind of smart, kind of not, because you're dead. You go for a Protect here? What are you trying to do? Rage Powder? Bye, Amoongus. Actually, it survived. Can you not KO yourself to Confusion anymore? That's a little crazy, but he's going to get the block there. Um, I think he's just trying to waste out Tailwind. I think he was just trying to protect there. And Electro Shot is going to fly here. Finish him off. So, solid start for us. Just going Arch Loot on Pelipper. And just ripping. And just ripping. So, I think we have either one turn left in Tailwind or it does end. I think we'll find out right here. And we can say bye-bye to Amoongus. So, big time plays from us. Getting started off hot here. Nice little Tailwind setup. Nice little Soakage with the Salt Vest of that Moonblast. So, they're going to throw out the final Pokemon. We already know it's Fluttermane. Low on HP. A little bit below half. And from here, I think Fluttermane just protects, correct? Fluttermane has to protect. Fluttermane has to protect. It makes the most sense. And no, we don't want to Hurricane in Arch Ludon. I actually clicked that. So, I think Fluttermane protects. I am just going to go into... A body press and a hurricane into this nursery slot. And he's gonna actually rip a sucker punch, which we survive. Fluttermane ends up not protecting. But thank you, defense boost. Hurricane gonna fly here. Big time damage onto you, and we bring you down to Sash. If he's gonna Sash up, uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And we get ducks, dude. Oh my god, the duck RNG? Insane right now. <laughs> Insane. Fluttermane is going to outspeed my minus one Arch Ludon, and he is going to end up taking out my... Actually, not taking out my Pelipper. We win this game all day. Actually, we don't. I don't, I don't want to say that just yet. But Body Press is going to pick up the KO here. He can go for a straight Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam will pick up the double KO. They got speed on me all day. I have no first turn priority. Um, Let's just wide guard. I mean, wide guard Flash Cannon. Now they just cancel battle. Okay, so a sweep here in match number one. Let's go hop into a second match. Try to use the Zebra. Come on, man. That first match, that's too easy. That's too easy. Nice little welcome back match. We end up sweeping with Arch Ludon and Pelipper. But now, we got a real hard test right here. Trick Room to the max, right? Indeedy, Hatterene, Sylveon, Ursaluna, Twerkel, and Armour. So a bunch of different combos we have to watch out for. Um, Expanded Force, really a big time problem, right? And I'm going to try to figure out ways around this or how I should actually play this. But it's a problem. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a problem. Um, huh. We do have Pelipper, which is nice with the Y guard. That is something I actually 
really like, and I kind of want to go back into Archaludon and Pelipper. I'm not going to lie here. Or we can just go Pelipper without Archaludon. But it just seems awesome, right? It seems really good for us. It seems like our best bet. I mean, we could go Pelipper in the back end just to deal with weather. But I think just having Wygard on the team is going to be top tier. We might not even want to bring Archaludon, to be honest with you guys. We could just go into a Pokemon like Maybe start bulking up. That is a possibility. Um, huh. I definitely want to bring the zebra here. I don't mind the zebra. What's my play? You know what? We're just going to go these two. Same lead. Zebra. And last but not least, we are just going to go in with Annihilate. Okay. So if we have to swap Pelipper just in case they want to go rock weather with Torkoal, that is an option. But I just think Wygard is going to be so valuable. Reverse an Eruption, Expanding Force with two Pokemon, and on top of that, like Dazzling Gleams and stuff. So Wygard, again, going to be our best buddy. Our bestest of friends. Alright, so we had to sweep match number one. Did not get to use the Zebra, but this video is all about Zebra, so I'm going to be using it here in match number two. Hopefully, unless we sweep again, you know? And they're just going to end up leading this Expanding Force combo. So the first play obviously is going to be hey let's uh follow me let's pop a trick room so really nothing we could do about that except let him set up the trick room and kind of just go from there right so there's a special defense booster definitely just gonna go for a follow me with with you so from here what actually does more damage so weather ball on the rain do more damage and we can go for ducks let's just drop a hurricane here hurricane and electro shot let's be honest if you don't follow me, it was still KO, but there's the follow me. I'd rather get the special attack boost. There's follow me. They're obviously setting up Trick Room. They might hard swap weather after this. They just might. Any ducks? No ducks. We're out of our duck luck, right? No more lucky duckies. Alright, so we popped the hurricane. I think next turn we should just simply pop the the Y go. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna do some damage there. So there's Trick Room. Alright, cool. I could swap Pelipper in case they want to swap into Torkoal, but I highly doubt that. This just seems more of, of as like a helping hand, expanded force kind of play. I mean, I should just wide guard and go for the flash cannon in this slot. We're plus one now. Go ahead, do your expanded force thing, because this Arch Ludon combo is just ripping in today's video. It is ripping. It is ripping. So I, I am terrified of, of Torkoal, though. I am terrified of Torkoal and the Trick Room. They're just going to Tarasso us here. I think it's going to be Psychic. I really think this is just a Helping Hands uh, Expanded Force play. And I think it's going to be Terra Psychic. No, oh, Terra Steel. A little Steel action. All right. It's a little defensive typing. I thought he was going to go for the all-out attack. But again, we're still hoping for the Expanded Force to actually pop through here. Wide guard. Set up the walls on both sides. Not deal. We are not deal. And follow me comes out here. Show me Expanded Force. Please and thank you. Thank you. A little bit of wide guard action helps us out. And uh, from here, this plus one flash cannon will finish off in DD, no problem. I know it's plus one on special defense, but this is stab. This is stab, and, and in DD doesn't have that much HP. Yeah, get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So Arch Ludon Pelper absolutely lighting it up for us today. Um, Got to get out the Zebra, though. That's the plan. So they're probably going to bring out Torkoal, let's be honest here. And if they bring out Torkoal... What's my play here if they bring out Torkoal? Because I would love to swap Pelipper. I would love to swap Pelipper. I could use Sash. I could use Sash, but I would love to swap just to get some weather control. Now comes our next Pokemon. It's going to be the Bear instead. So the Bear comes out here. Um, that leads me to think they don't have Torkoal. I do have Terra with Ice, which could come up clutch with the Zebra. Um, Annihilate showing here. Um, what's my player? I am boosted pretty well. I could end up terrestrializing. I'm gonna go for a weather ball here. And I'm gonna double down on Ursulina. There's no way Ursulina protects. They end up dropping expanded force. A little crazy to me, right? Luckily, Archelon's able to soak rather well. Helper's gonna drop the nice little focus sash, which is good. And I get a stamina boost. So you going for Earth Power? What are you going for? You're going for Blum. You're doubling down on my Pelipper. So they wanted to make sure my Pelipper went down. Which is crazy. So I get a stamina boost here. I'm plus one on defense. I'm really surprised they went for the Expanding Force again after that play. So I should have just wide guarded again. But 
That's fine. Body press doing big time damage. Uh, I could maybe just go into the zebra here. They can't use blood moon anymore, but they could expanding force. Don't really like that. Uh, I'm gonna save zebra for late game. I think having zebra late game is gonna be good because if they have Torkoal, high horsepower is gonna rock out pretty strong there. Um, and if we need it late game with ice terror, we can use that. So I'm gonna go into an eye here. I want to check how many turns are left in trickle because we gotta play this one out. We have to play this one out. We might want to terrasize you. We might, we might want to terrasize you. But um, there are two turns. Two turns left in trick room. So with our terror type of fire, right? Could be good. But I'm just gonna protect this turn. Do that, and then from here we're just gonna body press. I'm gonna body press to Ursa Luna. I think they just go for expanding force and, and like a, a ground move here. I think that's I think that's their play. So we're gonna protect and deny lap here. Span of Force flying through here should bring our Arch Ludon down a little past half health. So I'm hoping Arch Ludon can at least get off turn. It doesn't go past half, which is massive. Stamina's gonna get a boost. Body Press will finish off that, but Earth Power, I don't think we're surviving that. Yeah, no. So we're down to our last turn of Trick Room, and we get to bring out the Zebra. Do I protect on the Zebra? I do. So Zebra is definitely gonna have to get to protect. We're gonna have to Thrasilize our our Annihilate, right? We're gonna have to Terrasilize our Annihilate, for sure. So, I get to bring out the Zebra, I get to Terrasilize you, and I have to attack a Pokemon here. So, I think Hatterene is Focus Ash. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Hatterene is gonna be Focus Ash. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch there, and I'm just gonna protect the Zebra, right? I need to waste out this last turn, Trick Room, and we need to go from there. So, we'll go for a Terra type here, go into straight fire so Expanded Force doesn't just absolutely melt me. Um, he could double down into Annihilate, but I just don't really see that happening due to us being Ghost-type. I think they're just gonna go for Expanded Force and another Blood Moon into the Zebra slot, so... Hopefully we can clutch up here. So Zebra's gonna hit the Protect button. Yo, he's so sick. He's such a cool Pokemon. I wish he was better and competitive. There's the Expanding Force popping out here. Nice little Protect from us. He's not these last turn tricking. I wonder who the last Pokemon is. That is still doing a ridiculous amount of damage, and Hyper Voice is going to fly. Can you soak this Annihilate? Can you soak this? You do. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Because now we pick up the KO. We get back some HP. We get to see who their final Pokemon is. I can Drain Punch into the Hatterene. I believe Terrain actually ends as well, so that kind of neutralizes Expanded Force. And my Zebra can get cooking. High horsepowers all day. Rain's gone. Rain didn't really matter. But I'm really curious to see who their final Pokemon is, right? Really curious. More than curious. The Trick Room's done. Terrain's done. Is it Torkoal? That's the real question. I kind of hope not, but I, I believe it is, right? Sylveon. Okay. So from here, I'm going to Drain Punch, and I'm just going to double down into this thing. Just in case it's Sash, I want to get rid of Hatterene. I don't want to allow him to set up another Trick Room. High Horsepower, we're going to come through here and miss? That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's real bad for us. That's real bad, especially if you pop Trick Room here. That's real bad for us. That's so bad for us. Don't pop Trick Room. No way my Zebra misses an attack. Bro, Zebra! Zebes! We lost because of that! We lost because Zebes missed high horsepower! We lost because of that! No shot! Zebra, how could you, man? How could you? I should've just went for Wild Charge. To be honest here, but... Come on, man. High horsepower is super effective. Why wouldn't I use that? Zebra! Zebes, man. Really? Oh, man. Guess we'll go for Drain Punch here, but this is... We, we lost. There's no way around this. There's no way around this. This Hyper Voice is going to melt us and expand it for us. You can double down into me. Even if I protected the Zebra, Hyper Voice will still KO you the next turn. Yeah, say I would have protected the Zebra there. Let's just say I protected the Zebra there. Those same turns would have happened, I would have KO'd here with Drain Punch. And then next turn, 
Sylvan will just outsmed, use Hyper Voice, and KO to Spooth. Man, dude. That really hurts. That really hurts. Because if I would have KO'd that thing right there, Trick Room wouldn't have been up. I probably would have just doubled down into Sylveon and then ended it this turn. That's crazy. That's crazy. So Zebra comes out for a nice little protect. It was a good protect from us, but other than that, it missed its high horsepower, which could have won us a game. Would have been awesome. Masai Shock now flies here. That should finish it off, right? Yep. That's going to be game. So one and one should be two and oh. Let's hop it through a third, and we got to use the Zebra a lot better. That last one definitely stings a little bit. That one hurts, man. Zebra had a chance to win the match, and it missed. I've never used this Pokemon before in ranked battles, and he misses? Come on, Zebra. you got to be better than that. You have got to be better than that. So upsetting to lose a match like that, but we're hopping into our third match. Let's go for a winning record here. We're going up against an Ogre Pond and Torkoal Squad, alongside with Trick Room on Frig Ramp, and they also have Tailwind with Tornado, so half and half. On top of that, they got Reggie Draco, and they got, uh, what is that? Reggie Steel. So honestly, they could just lead which would be really tough for me. Reggie Draco and what's it called? And Tornadus. That would be tough news for me. It really would be. Because they could just pop the dragon energy and really just start to get ripping. Huh. How do I want to play this? I don't focus Ash on Pelipper, which could be solid. I could just go into you. Yeah, what kind of terror type you got? You got a steel terror type, which isn't too bad. And I kind of just want to go in Dragapult and be a little pester. So I'm going to go in with Dragapult. Um, I'm also going to lead Annihilate, I think. And then just go from there, right? Annihilate, Zebra, and we're going to go in with a Choice Scarf Pokemon. So we're looking for a win here in the final match of today's match. And yeah, it's going to be tough because I'm really predicting them to go into Reggie Jericho Tornadas. And I am really hope they don't because that combo is looking like OP against us right now. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Should be 2-0, man. Should be 2-0. God dang, Zebra, man. You're so much better than that. You're so much better than that. You're a Zebra. But they go Ogre Pond Tornadas, which I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind Ogre Pond Tornadas. I get to bring out Annihilate here. Um, the chances are they set up the Tailwind. Uh... And I could just throw a Will-O-Wisp to the slot. Which might be my best bet. Just go Will-O-Wisp while they set up Tailwind. I could go for a bulk up here. I'm going to go for a bulk up here while we're full HP. Definitely play. So there's the Tailwind. I wonder what Ogre Pond's going for is real question. Probably just an Ivy Cudgel. I kind of wish our Dragapult was Sash. But we got Throw Chop. Why do you have Throw Chop? Why? That's fine. We Cursed Body did. Come on, man. Why do you have Throw Chop? will is is going to connect, which is huge. So, big time burn coming out from, from us. And on top of that, I get off a big time bulk. Little bit of bulk up action. A little bit of bulk up action. So, an I get boosted here. Nice little attack and defense boost. We got a big time burn on a physical attacker of Ogre Pond. So, something that actually scares me the most is going to be this guy right here. This Tornadus. And to be honest, I think right now we try to go for a Thunder Wave in this slot and we just protect our, uh, our Annihilate here. So I'm going to protect Annihilate. We're hoping to get off a Thunder Wave, but chances are we don't. Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly. Maybe fingers crossed. Dragapult dodges it. Dragapult, your work? No. No shot. So, kind of saw that happening. Um, we got the burn on Ogre Pump, which is just massive. It's massive. It's really big. Unless he's getting crits, which there's a chance of that happening. But I can potentially go into the Zebra now. I kind of like the Zebra. I do have Sap Zipper on the Zebra, which is nice. Um, it is an electric type, and this is a pretty solid position for the Zebra to come out here. So I'm going to bring out the Zebra here. Um, save my Serene for the back end. And I'm just going to go for a Wild Charge. So Zip Striker. Zip Striker? Zip Striker. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but dude, this thing's sick. I love this Pokemon so much. I wish it was a lot better and competitive. But from here, I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch. We're gonna get some HP back, and I'm just gonna go for a Wild Charge into that slot. So our Waste Out Tailwind turns rather well. We do have Hurricane, which is actually crazy. Let me be honest, that's crazy that you have that. Ivy Cudgel flying through here, and Seeb's eating up. Cool, Wild Charge cooking. 
Bop, big time damage, Tornadus, get on out of here. So that's a big time KO right there. Um, we are going to Drain Punch and get some HP back, which is massive. What's absurd that you had that, uh... Let's be honest, it is absurd that you had that, what's it called? Hurricane on your Tornadus. It is absurd. So we get back a little bit of HP here. We're up to 66. We do have leftover, so I could just protect this turn. Get back some more HP. But, um, I gotta see how many turns are left in Tailwind. I believe there's one. Burn slowly chipping away, which I like. So maybe I might just double protect. This Zeep Strike is rather fast. Reggie Draco comes in hot. That's scary. We don't like that. We don't like Reggie Draco. We don't like that. So how many turns are left in Tailwind? I believe it should be one, right? One. So yeah, double protect's gonna be our best friend right here. A double protect definitely gonna be our best friend. I'm gonna waste out the last turn of Tail. So Zip Striker, uh, I believe, is faster than Reggie Draco. I know it's faster than Ogre Pun. The follow me is gonna come out here, which is a little tough news. Um, okay. Are you going for Dragon Energy? Yeah, Dragon Energy's gonna fly. That's scary. That's scary. So Zip Strike is actually doing great in this matchup. That hurricane is really doing dirty. Now, do I go for double protects? Because follow me is a problem. And another burn will chip up and KO. Another move will chip up and KO. Hmm. I would love a Terra Blast here. I think we go for the double protects, man. Hope we land one. Let's be honest here. Let's double protect. I'm gonna go for a little bit of RNG play here. Zip Strike is gonna miss. Annihilate, I need you to I need you to connect on this one. Thank you. Alright. So I was looking really for one of them to actually land. Zip Strike is, is gonna drop out here. Follow me, Dragon Energy is gonna come out here. And then Burn is just gonna finish off him. Okay, so Zip Strike is doing did actually really good in this battle. I actually really liked it. I actually really liked it. It would have been did 10 times better in today's video if it picked up the KO onto the what's it called? Onto the, uh, what's that Pokemon called? Can't even think of it. Onto the Hatterene in match number two. Would have been awesome. But now I'm back up to half health, and I get to bring out a Choice Scarf Pokemon, which is huge. Ogre Pond's gonna die out to burn. And we're playing this one slow. If I get off a triple Axle here, I'm really hoping he doesn't have Terra Steel, right? They still have Terra, I believe. I'm gonna bring out Serene here. Um,. He's gonna bring out Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel comes out as the final Pokemon. Um, huh? Triple Axel definitely a best friend. He didn't use Terra. We haven't used Terra. But want to pop a Fire Terra potentially, right? Maybe. With an Eye Leap, I definitely am gonna go Triple Axel here. I'm gonna Terrasize, and I am gonna. Go for the double down into Reggie into Reggie Draco. The reason I say that is I'm going for a triple axle. And if he wants to terrasize in his steel, then then uh, this move could actually do some big time damage. So I'll pick up this big time terror. They haven't terrored yet. Solid place for us to actually waste out Trick Room and to go for double protect. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of competitive play, and actually double protect is it's a risky play, but it helps out tremendously in competitive doubles. So I hit the terror button right here. Triple axle is gonna fly here. Which is nice. Can we hit all three times? Can you hit one more time? I love you. I love you so much. That's gonna do some big time damage. So we're doubling down into Reggie Draco. Is he going for another Dragon Energy? That's fine, because that's based off of HP. Not really doing too much here. And a Drain Punch is gonna fly, picking up the KO. So right now it's a 2v1, depending on what Reggie Steel does. Um, it might have been bad for us to Terrasalize into that Fire Typing. Because now Body Press can hit us if you want to go for Iron Defense. We don't like that. Did we just start Rage Fisting? How boosted is Rage Fist right now? You've been hit a lot. You've been hit a lot. Uh, man, I'm choicing the triple axle. Low kick would have been massive. <laughs> it would have been so big there. Oh, man. Um. I'm gonna go for a bulk up here. Bulk up will come out before the iron defense, so... 
We're going for the bulk up. I don't know how much damage Triple Axel is going to do. I Probably nothing, right? Slim to none. Slim to none. Maybe we shouldn't have choice in Triple Axel. We definitely shouldn't have Terrastalized Annihilate. Man. Alright, let's see how this one plays out here. Hope Annihilate can eat up a shot. But a body press plus two. Not look good. He's going to end up Terrastalizing. Okay. I love that. I love that. I like that. I think he's scared of the Drain Punch. He's going to go into water. Okay, that kind of sucks even more, right? <laughs> like, Triple Axel not doing anything, man. And I'm choice into it. Triple Axel is going to miss, right? Jeez, man. And Bulk Up's going to pop out. So, we bulked up. Um, let's see what he's got. There's no way you have Terror Blast, right? Gotta be going for Body Press or something. I need some crits, man. I need some crits. Now might be the time to start attacking with Rage Fist. Now might be the time. Serene can't do anything. We're stuck here using this, and I'm going for Rage Fist. The triple axle flying. Oh my god, it did negative six, negative five, negative four. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Rage Fist, how much damage are you doing? Give me a crit, dude. I have to smash up. Not bad. Could be left over. His body press gonna fly, and he is targeting down the swoop, which is good news. Which is good news. So I'm gonna be able to rage fist here again. We're hoping he's not left over, but chances are you are left over, correct? Most likely. And if I can eat up a body press or maybe get a crit, dude. If I can get a crit, it's night night. It's night night. It's night night. So I'm just gonna keep spamming rage fist. Let's see what he ends up doing here. Rage fist flying. Such a good match right here. And we're down, we got him down to half. Iron Defense is going to come out. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Because you just give me more turns to actually have a chance to crit here. And I keep getting HP back. Is a plus six body press going to KO us? Maybe. 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 If I didn't Terrastalize, would we have a shot? We'd probably win this match, no problem, if I didn't Terrastalize. That one's on me. But keep going. we're going to keep spamming Rage Fist. Look for the win here. Yo, just give me a crit. Give me a welcome back crit. I need a welcome back crit. Go ahead, Annihilate. Welcome back, crit. No welcome back, crit. Decent damage. Body press flying there. We survive that, so we get a nice little Rage Fist boost. Um, the real question is, do I protect here? No, because I believe that did over 100 damage, right? I mean, we're not going to KO it without a crit, so protect is going to be required regardless. Alright, so we protect Annihilate. We need either a crit here, or I don't know. I don't know. We need a crit here. But he still goes for a protect. And it's going too far. Alright. So I still want some HP back. We get a little bit of leftovers. Wow, this would have been a good turn for me to attack and then protect this turn. So, Rage Fist again coming out here. I could go for Drain Punch. I'm gonna go for a drain punch. Try to get enough to survive here. Let's see. Crit me. Did I get a welcome back crit? A welcome back crit. Let's go annihilate. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. You guys gotta love it. The Pokey Gods came in clutch for me. A nice little welcome back crit, front of annihilate, dropping a drain punch, and winning us the match. But yo, this team, super fun to use. Zeb Striker, actually pretty solid. Should have won us the match number two. Missed an attack, it's all good. But match number three actually was really, really well. Using Wild Charge, pick up a big time KO onto Tornadus, and then allowing our Pokemon such as Annihilate and Serena over here to actually pick up a big time KO onto Red Draco and get us to win. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.